Hello, welcome to another one of my YouTube videos. I have to keep a little busy, so we're going off the grid again. Today I'm just going to um, show you how I get my seeds started when I want to plant a garden. And it is late in the season, but because I'm in Florida, we will have an extended sort of heated season. The temperatures are reaching the um, mid-90s about now. Well, egg carton. doesn't matter whether it's... Uh, the styrofoams are better than the uh, crated ones um, in a way. They both have their pros and cons. This is... Um, you're going to poke holes in the bottom. Normally I use a knife. I'm going to use a box cutter and just poke like four holes in the bottom of each of these little holders. The the styrofoam doesn't dissolve. Uh, it's not biodegradable. So that means I'm going to have to take the seedlings out of this and uh, replant. If it was the regular, um, the uh, cardboard type carton, you could just plant those directly into the ground. So I have, um, I put holes in some of them already. I've uh, put holes in the bottom of each and that's for the drainage. What I'm going to do is I'm planting, um, I'm going to start peppers. So it'll look backwards for you, but I have three different types. This time I don't have any, any uh, green peppers unfortunately, but I have red, yellow, and orange ones. So what I'm doing is this makes it really great. I'm going to put red here. I'm going to put orange in the middle and yellow on that end. And that's kind of crude. I don't know if you can see that well. But it will work. And if you want to, you can uh, mark them here. But I know I'm going to do, I'm going to divide it evenly. So that has been done. What I did was I took some seeds from peppers that I had before and I dried them out and then placed them in these little bags and that way I didn't have to purchase any other seeds. The plants came with seeds. Now what I'm doing now is loosely placing some soil in the bottom of each of the don't want to do it over the computer and when you put the um, when you water these the soil will kind of pack down Let's see if you can see that that's it now the reason why I leave the flap on is because when I water them if I want the moisture to retain some moisture you need that moisture to help pop that dry seed open, the little hole part. And so you can, you don't want to close it all the way, but you just want to close it enough. I can um, close it on one of these little bubble things and it'll hold it closed enough so that the condensation will continue to moisten the soil in here. And then I'll open it up because I'll open it up for the sunlight, the sun rays to hit the sand. When you um, plant, you don't want to be scarce when you plant. These are yellow, so the yellows are going here. And you'll find that whenever you plant seeds, all your seeds are not going to take. So what I'm doing is putting about three seeds in each one. That was the yellow. Here are the orange ones. You don't know which seed is going to propagate, as they say grow and therefore we kind of play the odds that's what it's called if I'm placing three seeds in each one of these and one seed takes that will be fabulous if um, two seeds take then I'll just have more plants I'll show you what I did um, Right now I'm just placing, and now I'm placing the red ones in. The peppers get kind of expensive. If you eat peppers, then you know. 
they can get as high in this area um, as a dollar each and if you don't want to pay a dollar each for a pepper you can grow your own now you know they have those fabulous um, planter type things now where you can plant upside down plant certain things upside down I just I don't have any I haven't gotten around to those yet as you can see the seeds are in there and usually um, you can take a, your finger or something and just lightly poke it down they're spaced a little apart which is good just in case they uh, more than one pops up and then it, it won't be they won't be so close together they won't be so tangled if they're not so close if they roots don't go so close together and I'm just lightly poking them down that one has four and it's okay these are right center stage and I don't want that because a lot of times you do have the case where more than one will propagate and then you are stuck with the task of there they're all in there and all I need to do is add just a little water to it and that's it so if you want to start that's a great way to start these you just when they grow up uh, you just push the bottom up push this bottom piece up and this whole little plug will pop out and then you just plant that thank you so much again for joining into another one of my YouTube videos